Rosie, you probably don't know this, but I'm actually a British citizen. I have a British passport and everything. My father was born in England, so I have a British passport. So I am authorised to cook this episode. British food is what I know really well. So I need I'm, to go call Border uh, Control now. Uh, well, you can try, but uh, I'm also an Australian citizen, so I belong here. <laughs> now, what I'm going to do is show you a, a beef and suet pie, something that I really, really love, uh, something that but my family's been making for many, many years. Right. So what I'm going to do to start with is I've got some beef here, and I'm using rump. Now, normally for a pie like this, I would use chuck blade, one of those cheaper cuts, but what I want is a cut that's going to cook fairly quickly and stay mm -hmm. really tender, and I won't have to stew it for a long time to get right. it nice and tender. So I'll take the packet off there and what I want you to do, Rosie, is put plenty of salt and pepper and olive oil on that and mix it around. I want you to season it up really well. And we what love I... salt. And, salt and loves that's right, you're right. getting it. There we go. Got I it. want you to channel the inner Richo and bring him down so that you can put the right amount of salt and pepper on there. Now what I'm doing here is using up a bit of, little bit of leftover bacon that's in the fridge. Not that you would ever think that there's any leftover bacon no. in my fridge, but it's one of those things Bacon is a, is a beautiful thing and every now and again you've got a few bits, scruffy bits left over. What you want to do is save them for a dish like this. I've also got some onion that I'm going to slice up all the way through. I suppose being an English dish I should use some shallots, but I've got one of these red onions here so I'm going to use that. I've also got some mushrooms as well. It's going to be a real nice pie. And the pastry I'll put on top, which you're going to love, is suet pastry. All right. You know what the suet is? Oh. It's the best part of the animal. The suet is the fat from around the kidney. That's the fat that Nana uses for her Christmas puddings. You know when Nana the does her Christmas stuff. pudding? The good stuff, the real good stuff, and that's what makes it tasty. I should get the beef in the, uh, in the pot, shouldn't I, to get it browning off. Nice. One of the most important things when you are making a pie like this is to brown off the beef, isn't it? One of the most important things forever. And what I've got here is a big pot here, a heavy base pot, a really, really good non-stick pot or pan, if you mm -hmm. want to call it. And I'll put a liberal amount of extra virgin olive oil in there and then in goes the beef. And what you want to hear is that sizzle. That's what browning the meat is all about. Oh, that's what I like. Now, what I'm going to do in this other pan here, or this saute pan, is add some extra virgin olive oil. I know it's really hot, so this is going to go really, really fast. What I'm going to do is add the garlic, the bacon and the onion straight in there like that. Sweet. And Rosie, I've got some parsley there. If you can yes. grab that parsley and chop it up. Now, I found some leftover bits of mushrooms that I made an oriental dish. Right. So I'm going to throw them into here. Now, I've got some carrot here because we need some veggies in our pie. And what I'm going to do with these is cut them nice and thin like this. So I'm going to get a dice. And here's a little trick to cutting a dice like this. I get the celery and cut it all the way through like this and use that stem of it. Put it all together and then I need to cut it all the way down and you get a really sort of simple dice. The beauty of the dice like this is it will cook really quickly as well as give you lots of flavour. I've got some bay leaves, that will make it nice and tasty. And in go my veggies and the rosemary. I'm going to grab that rosemary that you did such a good job of picking and also that parsley. I'm going to slide that off got the it. board there, bring that over and pop that into the pan. All I need to do is toss this around for a couple of minutes till it sweats down give my beef a few more minutes to brown off. We'll roll out the pastry and we'll put our pie together. A little splush of port splush and of port. some red wine in there, probably about a quarter of a cup, half a cup of red wine goes in there as well. Very nice. And also some stock, and you can use whatever stock you want. Chicken stock, beef stock, lamb stock, veal stock. You can use whatever stock you want. What I'm going to do here is thicken this up, Rosie. If you can grab that spoon, and just stir this around. What I've got is some corn flour, and what you're going to do is dissolve the corn flour in that water, and that's what I use as a thickening agent. Now, when you put the corn flour in, it starts to thicken up really, really wow. quickly, so you've got to be on your game and stirring it straight away. What I want is a really thick gravy or sauce to go with it. That's All on right. nice and low. Now, I've got the pastry here. I'm going to dust my board with a little bit of plain flour over the top here like that. There we go, straight on here like that. Now this is a suet pastry and there are plenty of recipes on the Good Chef Bad Chef website. You could always go to your local butcher to get the suet or you could use any sort of bought pastry or any sort of pastry you want. What I'm going to do, Rosie, is just roll this out till it gets to a shape that's almost the size of that pie dish that's right next to us. Yep. While I'm doing this, can you grab some of that egg wash sure can. and run it around the rim there? There we go. What I'm doing is just rolling the pastry out till I get it at a reasonable thickness. There we go. All the way around the outside like this. The suet is a beautiful shortening to use for a pie like this. It's got a great flavour to it. If you don't want to use suet, you can always use butter. Now, I'll just stir that around. Have a look at this, Rosie. It's thickened up beautifully. What I'm going to do is pour wow. this 
straight into the pie mixture like that. That cornflour's giving it that lovely glaze that a pie has, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? <laughs> lovely shine. Now, what I'm going to do is what we call hot loading. I'm going to grab this pastry over the top here, bring it into the middle, and just put it straight over the top like that. Now, that is quite hot. I'm just going to push it down onto the rim there. And because you've egg washed it, that's going to help it to stick. So I'll grab the scissors here. And then round the outside here, I'm just going to give it a little bit of a snip. I'm going to leave about a centimetre around the side of it like that. If you haven't got scissors, a good sharp knife will do. All the way around here like that, trying to keep it pretty neat. I'm almost out of breath, I've been talking oh, so much. that's OK. You like that? <laughs> and what I'll do is just give it all the way around there till I get to the edge there. Grab the egg wash and I'll paint it around the outside. You want it to be nice mm. and sticky, so I put it all the way around the outside like this and I'll get you to paint the inside in a second. But what I'm going to do, Rosie, is give it a bit of shape. So what I do with my thumb here, I push it forward like that and the other one back. So I go all the way around. If you grab the pie and turn it as I'm doing it, yep. push it all the way down like that. There we go. So it's teamwork, isn't it? Teamwork. It's go. all about teamwork. It's all about teamwork. Keep going like that. That's it. Beautiful. That's it. All the way around. Try and do it so that's it. Perfectly. I've got to be fast as you, don't I? There we go. Now, there we go. That's it. That's how it there works. There we go. Looks great like that. I'll just pinch that down there like that. You can crimp it any way you like, but I think this looks quite nice. Now, what I've got to do is glaze it nicely like that, and I run a bit of the egg wash through the outside there like that to make sure it sticks all the way down. Look at that. It's looking gorgeous, isn't it? Lovely. There we go. Now, all I need to do with this scissors, make a little hole in the top of it because we need to let that steam out. Otherwise, it'll burst open and our pie will explode in the oven. Now, this is going to go into the oven, 200 degrees Celsius, nice and hot. Cook the pastry, cook the pie mix. I can't wait to get into this one. Rosie, with pie like that, I deserve to be British, don't I? <laughs> that there is something go. to be proud of. Oh, that oh, looks oh. impressive. We'll just cut through there like wow. that. Wow. Nice thick pastry all the way through there. Yeah. Oh, and I've got my spoon. I'll try and break that pastry off there because we want to get plenty of pastry on there and the actual pie in the centre. Pastry, oh. tasty filling. Oh, oh, look at that. It just went everywhere. Yeah, and of course, it? it's nothing without that HP sauce. Let's get that on there. House of Parliament sauce, one of my favourites. There we you go. Know it. On it goes. And you have to bang it like this. Oh, there It'll we go. Come. It's coming out. It's coming out there. It'll we go. come. There we go. They should get one of those little handles on the top that pushes it out, makes it come out ah, faster. Keep that glass bottle, keep that go. glass bottle. Now, what I'll do is I'm going to get straight in there. Look at that pastry, it looks the bomb, doesn't it? Nice and tasty. Mm. And I'm going to just grab some of that meat that's on the outside there, a little bit of the sauce, and I'm going to pop it in my mouth and tell you how delicious it is, Rosie. Well, I'm just ever so impressed. Like, that did not take long, and it, it could feed a farm. Like, it's, it's incredible. I reckon four hungry blokes would finish that off in no time. I mean, you should serve it with some peas or some mashed potatoes, something like that. Probably a little pint of cider as mm. well, maybe. If you're going to go traditional, that's probably what you'd do. A pint of cider would be Let's great. Let's be honest. A pint of Guinness? No, no, a pint of cider. There we go. <laughs> I think it's a great little pie. It looks fantastic, easy to make. The meat, because I used the rump, is nice and tender. Of course, if you wanted to use a more stewing meat, you take a lot longer. It's a great looking pie, nice and shiny, nice and tasty, and very, very deserving for a bloke like me. Good job.